This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in, asking, After using an IMM brush, how can I delete the base model I drew the IMM parts on? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the Signet ring file here loaded in. And the question is asking about using an IMM brush. So taking an IMM brush and drawing parts out on the model here, but then removing the base model I drew the parts on. So how can I go by doing this? So if I first come over here to the tool palette and go to the subtool area here, and I'm just gonna make a duplicate of my subtool. So I want to keep this base tool here, but then I wanna make a duplicate version of it to then apply some IMM curve parts on to create some designs on the ring here. So I'm gonna go to the subtool palette and I'm gonna come down here and click duplicate. And now I'm gonna have two of my models in the scene here. Now with the duplicate version of this, I now wanna select an IMM curve brush. So I'm gonna navigate over here to the brush palette and open this up. In here, I wanna locate the IMM curve brush and just click that there. And then at the top here, you're gonna get the IMM viewer bar. And I just wanna scroll through this until I find this necklace link. I just select that option there. And now I wanna apply this on my mesh, but I wanna do it in sort of a radial fashion. So I wanna apply it on this side of the model and this side of the model, but not have it in the symmetry that I'm currently showing, but I want it in a radial way. So it'll give this nice little kind of offset to the sculpt. So I'm gonna navigate up here to the transform palette and open this up and then make sure symmetry is turned on. I'm gonna change my default symmetry to Y, turn off Z, and then I'm gonna activate radial and I'm gonna set my radial count to two. So this is gonna give me radial symmetry in the Y direction of my model. And if I come across the model now, you can see that I have these two little dancing pips here. So this is going to be the symmetry I'm going to have. And this is going to allow me to draw on one side and it's going to mirror it in a radial fashion on the other side of the model. So what this is going to allow me to do is now I can come across my ring here, get a little bit larger draw size here, and I can click and drag to start drawing the IMM curve out. And now it's gonna give me this effect. So I'm gonna get a mirrored part on the other side of the mesh here. So let's say I'm designing my ring here. So adding some little elements here. So maybe adding something like this and it's going to now apply on the other side. Maybe add some stuff in the middle here. And so you can just kind of play with the forms and the shapes on your mesh. And then let's say I'm happy with this result. And now what I wanna do is I wanna just take these IMM parts and remove them from the base model that I applied them to. So that duplicate ring there. So how can I do this? So first we just need to clear our masking. So I'm gonna hold down control and drag off to clear the masking on the model. And then I'm gonna go to the stroke palette up here. I'm gonna go to the curve functions area here and I'm gonna click delete. So that's gonna delete any of the curves that were still appearing on my model. And now if I look at the subtool I have here, you'll notice that it contains different parts. So I have the part that I drew it on and then I have all these IMM parts. So basically what I wanna do is I want to isolate the IMM parts from the base of the ring so then I can hide or delete the ring part and just leave these IMM pieces. So I'm gonna navigate over the tool palette over here and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the polygroups area and then I'm gonna click this auto groups button. Now when you click auto groups, it's going to look at geometry islands or the geometry pieces of the current subtool you have selected and it's going to give a new polygroup to each one of those pieces. So if I turn on my polyframes here and turn off line, you can see this is the current polygrouping I have. And if I come over here and click auto groups, you can see now this is the polygrouping I have. So what this will allow me to do is now I can isolate just this ring part. So I can hold down control and shift, which is going to give me the select rectangle brush and come across the ring here and click, and that's going to isolate it. And then while still holding Control and Shift, if I click again, it's now going to hide it. And now you can see I'm left with just those IMM parts. So now I can go back up to the tool palette. I can now go to the geometry area. I can go to the modified topology area here, and I can now click Delete Hidden. And now I've successfully removed that base model of the ring, and now I'm just left with those IMM parts. So now if I turn off my polyframe and come back up here, You'll see that in the subtool list here, I just have a subtool now that consists of those IMM parts I drew out, and then I have my original ring. 
So I can turn my original ring on and off and then just view the IMM parts by themselves. So to go through this process one more time, I'm just gonna come over here and delete those IMM parts quick. So I have my base subtool here. I'm going to first duplicate this subtool and turn off my original. Now I'm going to select an IMM curve brush. So I'm gonna select this necklace link here. Now I'm going to draw this out on my model to give me a design, so something like this. After I'm happy with this, I just need to clear my mask and then go up to the stroke palette, go to the curve function areas and delete the curves. Now I need to go to the tool palette, go down to the polygroups area, click the auto groups button, which will make sure that any geometry islands are given a new polygroup. I can now hold control and shift, which is going to give me the select rectangle brush. I can now select the ring part, then while still holding Control and Shift, click it again to hide it. Now I can go back to the tool palette, go down to the geometry area, go to the modify topology area, and click delete hidden, and now I will only have the IMM parts for that subtool. And I can turn on my original part there, so I have a subtool that just consists of the IMM parts and then the subtool that just consists of the ring base. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.